Hey y'all and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today we have a gentle stretch for low back relief segment because restorative movement is just as important as every other type of movement that you'll find here. If you're new to the channel, welcome and I hope you find something here that serves you. So we're going to get started with some easy stretches on the mat. I'm going to talk you through each one and we're going to go through it from beginning to end together. Here we go. So carefully lower yourself onto your mat and we're going to start hugging our knees into our chest, pulling those hip flexors in. And it's important that you connect to your breath work here as you start to release tension in your body. And then we're going to gently lower the knees and push up into bridge pose. So I want you to repeat this and just move through it at your own pace, holding where it feels comfortable and releasing when you need to. And we're going to take one more right here and then bring your knees back out almost to 90 degrees or a little in if that puts too much strain on your low back. You're going to take your palms out for balance and we're just going to gently take our knees over to one side. So only about 45 degrees. You stop if you feel any pressure that's more than pressure really. So if you feel pain, if it's sharp, if it's jagged, you want to walk backwards from that. Breathing through these movements. And we're going to take one more each way. Bring your knees to the center, extend your left leg. I'm going to hold in my right knee as tight as I can get it and just re completely relaxing my left. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and we're going to put your right hand through the window, pull into the lying triangle stretch right here. So I'm pulling my left knee in. If you're finding any tension here, big inhales in and big exhales. And let's release this side. You're going to completely relax your right leg, hug in your left knee nice and tight. We're going to cross that left ankle on top of your right knee. Your left hand will come through the window here and pull that in. It should feel really nice. And we're going to release both legs. Take that right knee over your body. Be gentle with yourself on this one, breathing, stopping. If you feel pain, but finding that point where you start to open up the low back, the hamstrings and the hips. So I'm trying to keep my right palm and my right shoulder down as much as possible. And gently pull yourself to the center and let's take it to the other side. So right leg is out, left knee is coming in and we're twisting over. So you can see now on this side, my left hand, my left shoulder, trying to keep it down, pull it over. And we're gonna bring it in. So I'm gonna come up onto my side here and push myself up. So we're gonna take it into our seated movements here. We're gonna start with our right leg up. You're gonna try and put your right knee into your right elbow. If you're not here yet, that's fine. You can just kind of grab down here. This is called rock the baby. You're kind of pulling that knee out 
and across. And then we're going to take that right foot down here, take it down into a seated twist, the left elbow across, twist around, try and look behind you if you can. You might not be there yet. This is so calm and so peaceful. I can hear my dog snoring. Yeah. Extend that leg. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So knee in here. Pull it tight. There we go. And let's take that into a twist on this side. So our right arm is across. I've been coaching and training for almost six years and I love high intensity workouts. I love cycling and I love lifting, but restorative movement, functional movement is what makes you a better mover. It's what's going to keep you moving sustainably throughout the course of your life. And extend that leg. Good job. So we're going to fold in one leg. We're going to do single leg hamstring stretches. So you might only be here. That's fine. You might be able to walk it out a little bit more. You might be able to get hands to toes. Just try and relax your kneecap right here. We have a tendency to clench that knee, take it out long. And then fold this side in. We'll do the other side. So you might be here. You might be here might be out here. And then we'll take both feet out long. So sit up nice and tall, push the hips forward. You might be here, or you might be here, wherever you are. Just breathe through your stretches and know that flexibility takes time. Swing our legs around. We're going to arch our backs and move our spine with cat and cow. So we're going to arch up here, big breaths up and down. Okay, flexing down, pushing everything away. Really breathe through these and move through this at your own pace at home. Before we move on from here, pull the pelvis in, shake it down, well done. So we're going to take our right toes here, move on my right foot, I'm going to look over my left shoulder toward that right toe, and then go the other way. This is called wag the tail. We're just trying to get some movement in that pelvis. And let's do the other side. The left toes, here it is. Look over your right shoulder at the left toes and take it back. Do you have a stretch routine at home? Let me know in the comments what you're doing to ensure that you're able to do the things that you love. Like cycling, like running, like lifting. Well done. All right, we're gonna push that back into child's pose. Walk the fingertips out nice and long. Really round your spine down in the through your hips, through your pelvis. And then we'll take it forward. We're gonna do a single leg bow, so one at a time. We're going to take one leg here and pull it up. And 
and release that side and do the other side. So we've done a lot of work through your hamstrings, through your hips, and now on your hip flexors because these are all connected to your low back. Your low back is linked to so many different parts of your body. So you have to address the other parts of your body if you want to help that low back. And we're gonna take child's pose one more time here. And if you have someone to help you at home, pushing on your hips in child's pose can really get you just some extra relief. And when you're done, sit it on up. Thank you so much for joining me for this stretch that was geared toward opening and releasing any pain and tension in your low back. If you found this helpful, go ahead and leave me a like. I would really appreciate it. And make sure that you are subscribed and your notifications are on so that you can join me here for class more often.